Yeah, Dr. Ruckman. Uh, in uh, Second Chronicles, there's a in comparison to uh, Second Kings, Second Chronicles twenty two two. It gives the age of that king to be, I think it's forty four or forty two years old in that passage. Uh huh. When he reigns as king, and then it says that he reigned as king at twenty two years old in Second Kings and eight twenty six. All right. This is a classic contradiction in the King James Bible. <clears throat> this will be <clears throat> uh, Second Kings, uh, Second Kings eight twenty six, and Second Chronicles twenty two one. It's on the age of a, a king called Ahaziah. <clears throat> now there are ways to reconcile this contradiction by going to the Hebrew, but I never do that. I figure if it doesn't contradict, you don't have to run the Hebrew anyway. Eventually, you get the answers in the English. And uh, the, the statement is a clear contradiction as it stands. But, uh, and I'll show you how to fix it out in a minute. But before we do that, let me say that uh, many times you can find clear contradictions in the Bible, even clearer than this one. For example, here's a verse that says, uh, Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. The next verse says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be like unto him. Right there. You don't have to go very far to find a contradiction. One says do it, other says don't do it. Um, when you talk to people about the soul, sometimes fellows say, well, I tried to get saved, but I just I couldn't live it, and I couldn't live it, and I couldn't live it. And sometimes I'll say, yes, you can. Sometimes they'll say, well, of course you can't live it. Nobody can live it. And that's a contradiction. But from coming at things two different ways, if the fellow says, uh, the fellow says, I can't live it, I can't live it, I can't live it, and I know he's really tried and depressed about it and worried about it, and somebody's talked him out of it, I say, of course you can't live it. Nobody can live it. Uh, and that, that brings him down. So that, that, that gives him a little bit of comfort. Well, if nobody can live it, then I, you know, then you're going to do them about his soul. But the other fellow, you know, uh, proud about it, I say, why, well, uh, of course you can live it. He says he can, so I can say, well, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, I live, nevertheless, not I, yet Christ liveth in me, and take him to that way. So just because thing contradicts, uh, doesn't mean that it contradicts. Now take this one right here. In 22.2, Ahaziah is 42 years old when it begins to rain. Now really, he couldn't have been 42. He's the son of, uh, of uh, Jehoram, this fellow. And uh, this fellow here is, uh, he'd be older than his daddy. Uh, looking 21-20 looking on his daddy. 32 years old was, was even when it began to rain. He reigned eight years in Jerusalem. His daddy lives and dies 40 years old. Now how could the boy be 42 with a daddy 40? All right, then back in the other one, you have Second Kings chapter uh, 8, verse 26. Two and 20 years old was Ahaziah when it began to rain. He reigned one year in Jerusalem and so forth and so on. 22, other than 42. Now, the answer to this thing is Isaiah is not Jehoram's real son. He's counted uh, as his son, and he's not his real son. And the way you know he's not is in 2 Kings chapter 8, verse uh, 26, it says, His mother's name is Athaliah, the daughter of Omri, king of Israel. Now, the daughter of Omri is, uh, well, Omri is the one that begat uh, uh, one of the worst kings Israel ever had. Now it'll be Ahab. Now go back to First Kings chapter eighteen. Uh, make it, uh, you know, make it, eight, make it sixteen, and look who Omri is. And the thirty and eighth year of Asa king of Judah began Ahab the son of Omri to reign over Israel. Ahab is the son of Omri. Ahab the son of Omri. Ahab the son of Omri. Thirty. Ahab the son of Omri. Now, who did Ahaziah marry? He married the, the daughter of Omri, king of Israel, Ahab's sister. That's be Ahab's sister. And that's years and years before uh, 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 Joram is born. And when Joram shows up, he marries somebody else. Uh, look at uh, 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 18. He walked in the way of the kings of Israel as he did the house of Ahab, for the daughter of Ahab was his wife. Why, Joram, 
Uh, his daddy was married the daughter of Ahab. The boy he's supposed to have Isaiah, his mother's name is Omri, she's, uh, she's Ahab's sister. So they're a generation apart. And Isaiah is a generation before his daddy in that passage. And the question comes up, then how do you say he was 22 years old and he began to reign, and then 42? And the answer is, uh, when he was 22 years old, uh, 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 26, at that time he was anointed to be king over Judah. But he doesn't get to be king over Judah until his daddy dies. 42, was 20 years between when he was anointed to be king and when he took the throne. Now, if that seems strange to you, there's two cases you need to look at. David. David is anointed by Samuel to be king when he is 17 years old, before, back before he went out to fight Goliath, back in there. And that bird grows up and fights Goliath, then he comes back and works for Saul, then he runs from Saul and goes to the Philistines, then he comes back to the Philistines and attacks the Jebusites, and he doesn't get the throne that was his until something less he reigned 70 years, he reigned, uh, he'd be about uh, around 40, uh, let's see, 70 years old when he died, and he reigned 40 years, he'd be around 30 when he got on the throne. 30 or 30, there's something like 13 years there he's not on the throne. And he's anointed to be king before he ever gets on the throne. Now the other case is much clearer. When was Christ anointed to be the Messiah, the king of the Jews? John the Baptist, when the Holy Spirit was sent upon him. That's his anointing as king. Israel, behold, you're king. Palm Sunday, and he comes on the, on the folk, the coal of an ass. Uh, Blessed be that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, the son of David. Glory to God in the highest. That's the king coming in. And they kill him. They crucify him. Does he ever get that throne? There you go. Not yet. He had not got it yet, has he? How long was that delay? Why, it's 2,000 years. You can say Christ was anointed to be king in 33 A.D. This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. But he don't get the throne until 2,000 years. So the answer to that thing is that fellow there is not John's real son. He's counted as his son after his death. But he's uh, anointed to be king when he's 22. And then when his daddy dies, he's 42 years old and he takes on the throne. Something else. Now, it's like a Bible to clear up the college education.